you so much for um, for coming. Um, it, it means so much um, to have you guys here. I've got friends here, I've got white colleagues here, I've got ex colleagues from work I'm seeing. I'm just like, oh my god, this is amazing. So, just really taken back to for you guys to be here making it a, a sold out scratch. I, I personally love the um, two parts. One, when you was in the house of your uncle, that was striking for me. One, because I didn't understand what you were saying, but I could still relate to it at the same time. And also, being in your friend's house and his relationship with his mom, in relationship to you seeing all these things that weren't advertised on TV, like, it's like your mind. Everyone's had a Robert's house. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've realised that. Um, and then that night, I have to big up um, Polar Bear as well, because um, in, in the writing part, and we were sat together, it's like, that line, that air with you. <laughs> and, he, and we were cracking up for like a good couple couple minutes over that and with that it just made for me it just for me it was a personal thing to me but i just didn't know that it was so universal in that sense um so it's good to know that it definitely resonated with you yeah with you. there are moments where i myself and this is sort of the same thing there are moments where i myself felt of uneasy and exposed and somewhat anxious and that's opposed to a degree on your behalf because you're choosing to be there and I'm intrigued to know what it feels like for you as I imagine it could be both liberating and terrifying all at once. Yeah, it's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nice and I suppose in the upbringing in my writing and stuff um, it's what I've always searched for in terms of being as honest to myself as I can be. Um, I can't. I don't know anything else. I don't know. So I don't. I don't. I don't know how else to be. You know. So I don't. So this is what I do. You know, this is this is where it comes from, and it might freak out some people. It might not get me booked for a couple gigs. <laughs> but hey, I got the South Bank, yo. So. <laughs> Why did you to put this together, and what was the process like putting it together as well? Uh, um, the the scratch itself, or the, the the concept. The concept and the scratch. So yeah, because so I'm having din I'm having dinner with my cousin. Um, so I'm just like, there's one side of you celebrating your culture, mm -hmm. and there's a side of you that you have no clue whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And I realized why I identified with him because that was me, mm -hmm. and. And my mum and folks that are oldest around me, they never really took me through the steps of finding out about my culture because I was growing up in Britain. Right. So I'm like, this needs to speak out, not only for Nigerians or such, but also for folks that have, you know, second generations or whatever it is, that are trying to find themselves or can't find themselves. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Mm -hmm. So it's more of a question. When you're raised up in another country, whether it's knowing that you're from here, mm -hmm. where do you go to search for culture if your own parents or your elders are not going to give that to you? So this is an opener for that, and it's for you guys to go home and start discussing with whoever. Mm -hmm. Yeah? yeah. Uh, John Berkovich, have you got a question? I was just going to ask, what do you think is the, the most important thing about what you're doing? Um, either, either the most important thing to you, or the most important thing within what you're making, or what we might take as the most important thing. I it goes back to that point earlier that I raised in regards to just starting that conversation. Um, there was a, there's something very important in the writing that I've done, but also in not only performing it, but now you guys are aware um, of, of the battles. Um, it's very hard to try to find yourself within cultures. You've got all these cultures happening. You've got, you know, you've got the British culture, you've got the youth culture, you've got, you know, you've got your home. You've got all these different things happening and to find yourself within there is hard. Like, it's very, very hard. And, and then you're, th you're thinking about acceptance. If you notice, there is this constant narrative through each scene in that, in that piece. I'm, I'm searching, I'm wanting to be accepted. There's the last scene, I'm with my boys or wherever it is. Where is the acceptance? You know, I'm with uncle. I'm trying to speak this Yoruba. Take me, you know, accept me. But at the same time, there's a struggle because it's not happening. So I'm going from one group to another and I'm not finding myself and, it, and, and I suppose it, it speaks louder because I'm not alone. I don't think that I'm alone in terms of what happens when in your search you're not taken and no one's kind of taking you in and, and, and actually nurturing you 
to teach you or to, to, to show you the way of certain things. You're then left on your own to try and find things. It's Dan, I think. Yeah, it was, it's from Dan. Um, I, I've been watching you for years and it's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> you had to get the laughs. You had to get the laughs. It's the way you open it. I did. It's the way you open it. I should have been watching. Any specific pulse or something? That's <laughs> confession. You touched upon the honesty, and this is one of the things that has always drawn me to you. Like, and I make it. Uh, multiple times while watching you perform, I have cried, oh. and I I watch you and I wonder how you make it through these things without crying and breaking down yourself. And I I've seen you do it once, but I'm impressed that you made it through this without it. And you go through these journeys, especially with this, and it's evident that you have gone through this huge journey of self excavation. What have you learned? I suppose if, if the more I try to go through my own battles and not really take into consideration those that love me, that are there for me, I'm doing more damage to myself. That's, you know, there is a hard part that I struggle with and that's just to share that sometimes I feel really down. Like, um, I'm still as vulnerable and I can't really answer it because I still write to the best I can and, and be as honest as I can and just know that I have really supportive mechanisms and people around me that are there to say, you know what, talk to me. And it's for me to understand that and, and know that I'm not really picking fight battles on my own, you know. Um, I don't know if that answers in any way.